I miss you so much. I wish you could be here with me and we could be at school together. But I get to come to you from the internet on your phone or on a tablet or computer. I'm so excited. We're gonna do our circle time. And I set up my house just so we could be ready. Look at all of this. Before we get started with our circle time though, I wanna introduce a special friend since you can't be here. Caterpillar, come here. Can you say hello? Oh. Hi, Caterpillar, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Oh, good. So, Caterpillar's gonna help us. We're gonna start with our circle time song, our greeting. And we're gonna start with Caterpillar since he's my friend here today. Oh, my we're favorite. Oh. Ready? We're gonna go one, two, three, four. Everybody hit the floor. Hit the floor, my friends. Ready? We're gonna say Caterpillar's name. One, two, three, four. Caterpillar hit the floor. Hit the floor, Caterpillar. Good job. That was a very dramatic hit the floor. Come back up. Okay, that was our song for our greeting. Now, for our circle time, we always do our book. Today, we're going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Ooh, my favorite. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys look the same. You match. Okay, let's read our book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. By Eric Carl. He says, this is for my sister, Christina. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Ooh, I wonder what's in that little egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. I'm hungry! Oh, you're hungry? Hmm. Let's see what he's gonna eat. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. One! But he was still hungry. I'm still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. <laughs> but he was still hungry. I'm still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. <laughs> but he was still hungry. I'm still hungry. On Thursday, Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. <laughs> but he was still hungry. I'm so hungry. Oh my goodness, you are eating so many things, Caterpillar. I'm just so hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. <laughs> oh my goodness, but he was still hungry. So hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cream cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That might be a lot to make a stomach ache. Does your tummy hurt? No. Oh. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through and a nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Yummy. Your tummy feels better now? It feels 20 times better. Oh, good. Now, he wasn't hungry and more, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. I'm plump as a lump. <laughs> he built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Oh my goodness, that is a long time, Caterpillar. Yep, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he became a beautiful butterfly. Oh, yeah, look at my wings. <laughs> You're not a butterfly yet. You still have to eat some more, Caterpillar. What? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the end of our story. That was such a good story. Mr. Caterpillar, can you say goodbye to my friends? say bye. Thank you, Caterpillar. No. Now, <laughs> now we're going to do our weather. Are you ready for the weather, my friends? We're going to start with, I'm going to look out the window. I'm going to put on my goggles and say, hmm, what does it look like outside? Ooh, I see the sun. 
the sun. I'm going to say it is sunny. It is sunny. Hmm. What am I wearing today? I have a long sleeve on. I have pants on. It must be kind of, kind of cold. Kind of cold. Okay, that is our weather. Next, we're going to get started with what a butterfly is. My friends, we're going to learn all about butterflies these next few weeks, and I am so excited. We just read about the very hungry caterpillar in our book, so now we're going to talk about butterflies. Remember at the beginning of our book, let's look. At the beginning of our book, there was an egg an egg look in my picture here i have an egg say egg and next out of the egg came the caterpillar hi oh. hi caterpillar thanks for coming along you can sit right here um and there's a caterpillar and then remember my caterpillar ate lots and lots and lots of food and then he turned into a chrysalis. Can you say chrysalis, my friends? We go chrysalis. Your turn, chris a -lis. Good job. That's the chrysalis. And then after two whole weeks, they come out as a butterfly. Look at that pretty butterfly and all those colors. Okay, that's for our science with the butterfly. And now we're going to go over our words. Are you ready? Our new words. I am so excited about them. They are such good words. Okay, the first word we have is dirt. Everybody say dirt. Good. Dirt. In our story, there was dirt. Let's find dirt in our story. There is our dirt dirt. Our next word is sun. Sun. Everybody say sun. Good. Also in my book, I have the sun. Look at my sun. Point to the sun. Good job. My next word is flower. Flower. Let's see. Do I have a flower in my book? Hmm. No, no flower. Let's see. Our last word is butterfly. Butterfly. Let's see. Did we have a butterfly in this book? Oh, we did have a butterfly. Look at my butterfly. Let's say butterfly again. Ready? Butterfly. Good job. Okay, that is it for our book. Next, my friends, we're going to talk about matching our animals and giving them names like butterfly, cat, dog. Let's get ready to match our animals. Okay, let's get ready to match our animals and find the ones that are the same. One animal is a dog. This is my dog, Vader. Bye, Vader. Thank you for helping, my friend. So we're going to find things that are the same. They are the same. Let's start. This is a dog, like my dog, Vader, just said hi. Dog. Where is a picture of a dog? Hmm, I think this looks like a dog. Let's see, do they look the same? Are they the same? Yeah, they are the same. That's a match. Okay, next one. Let's do a fish. Fish. Hmm, where's my fish? I see a... Hmm, is that a fish? Let's look. Are they the same? No, they are not the same. Let's see. Are these the same? Yes, it is a match. They are the same. Okay, our next one. Let's do a snake. Remember our snake from a couple weeks ago? Our snake makes the sound s. You practice saying the sound s. 
And remember, this is S. We practice S in sign language, which means we talk with our hands. Our S. S. Hmm. Let's get back to matching. Where's my snake? I'm looking. These are not the same. Ah, this looks the same. They are the same. They match. Okay, our next one, a picture of a cat. Remember our cat goes meow, meow. Hmm, I wonder if I have a cat. I do, look at my picture, there is my cat. They are the same, the same. That means they match. Let's look at all my pictures and name my animals that are the same. Okay, let's see, we have fish. We have a dog, we have a snake, and we have a cat. They are all the same. That means they match. Good job on working on matching, my friends. Thank you, friends, for coming along and playing with me and doing our circle time. Um, thank you, Caterpillar, for all your hard work. You're welcome. I'm so glad I could do this time with you and have Fun. You are such a good worker. Thank you, my friend, and I hope you have a wonderful day and that you smile and are happy. Bye! Bye.